Hey guys, this is Chad with Pure Media Systems. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a Klipsch 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos Media Room with a Sony 325ES 4K projector uh, IMAX screen material in, in the works. Stay tuned after the intro. All right, guys. So this is actually um, uh, not not a huge room. It's a it's a decent size, but it's a little narrow and short. Um, what we're actually doing here, uh, we worked with the customer and the builder um, on speaker location uh, for pre wiring and everything else uh, for what the customer wanted to do. We gave them um, some suggestions and everything to work with the builder. Um, so we've uh, got our side surrounds here. On either side, our fronts are going to have towers, going to have Klipsch uh, RP8000F towers, RP504C uh, center channel um, with a Sanus 18 inch speaker stand. We're going to have the uh, Pro 250 RPW LCRs on either side. We're going to have uh, Pro 16 RCs in the ceiling, and we're going to have um, the Sony uh, VPL VW 325ES projector, uh, 4K projector up here. Uh, in the back of the room, uh, we're going to have uh, the Pioneer Elite uh, VSX LX303. Customer, uh, we sold this to the customer several years ago um, on a uh, in their previous home, and they've just moved, and we're working with them again. So, um, all the speak, speak wire and everything comes here. Uh, cabinet or closet's a little um, a little small, but we're going to work with it here. Um, we're going to have uh, control four in this room, so we're going to have EA one. The whole house um, has lighting. Um, and door locks, you know, the, the full control board system. So we're just expanding that here. We're going to have EA1. Uh, we're going to have two adaptive phase dimmers. We're doing, um, to make it look a little nicer, we're going to have the black uh, keycaps uh, as well as the stainless steel uh, faceplate. Uh, it just looks nicer and uh, blends in nicely with the um, darker room color. So uh, we're going to get to work and uh, show you that process. All right, guys. So we've got uh, the two side speakers in. Um, the Pro 250 RPW LCRs. Um, the, of course, the builder uh, did not line up the studs or anything correctly. So in order to get the speakers lined up, we've uh, had to move over. You know, of course, this is <clears throat> this um, pre where the the gang box is for the pre-wire, um, and we just uh, had to move it over. Um, so. Uh, so that the speakers would be in line with each other. So um, we've got the other speaker here. So that wall plate is just covering the old gang box. The um, customer is going to have uh, that painted when they have the room touched up and everything here. Um, and we just got to wipe up the walls and uh, just get the uh, uh, residual powder um, from the drywall off. Uh, but uh, they're going to have the either that patched or um, or painted to blend in. So uh, we've got the two side speakers in. Next is we're going to put the uh, Atmos speakers in the ceiling. Alrighty, so we've got uh, the Pro 16 RC uh, in the ceiling. This uh, speaker has a pivoting woofer, as you can see here, and the tweeter actually can pivot as well. So we're going to uh, aim it towards the seating position and uh, move on to the next speaker. All right, guys. Well, uh, we've gone ahead and um, we're almost done now. Uh, apologize, just uh, got a little carried away. Uh, we just like to keep working here. So um, we've uh, made a lot of progress and we're just uh, got to clean up. I wanted to give you a quick overview um, before we uh, head out here. So I'll go ahead and flip the camera out and show you what we got done. So we've got the 120 inch Sievertson Cinema White screen. Uh, we've got RP8000Fs on either side and the RP504C in Walnut. So you can see the nice walnut finish on these. It looks very nice with the paint in this room. Uh, I'm a big fan of the walnut finishes on speakers. Uh, we, of course, have the um, Pro 250 RPW LCR on either side of the room here. Uh, we've got the Pro 16 RC. Um, we've got an adaptive phase dimmer uh, with, of course, the black keycap and a um, switch here, and then the stainless steel um, faceplate. So lights, of course, this is a dimmer here, so hold it down, up and down, and it will dim the lights. Um, this is not a dimmable uh, light strip. This is just a light strip that they've got plugged into an outlet up top, which is switchable. So we've got that on and off. You can dim the, uh, brighten and dim the lights and stop anywhere just by holding down. So uh, we've gone ahead and actually programmed custom buttons here. So custom button one turns the light strip on and off. Custom button two dims those to 25%. 
um, and turns it off. We've got conditional programming to know that if it is 25% to turn it off, if it is not to turn it to 25%. And then custom button three is just a toggle. So it turns it on and off. <clears throat> so um, we can go and turn this off here um, and we've got all this. So uh, we can turn off uh, or go ahead and show you a demo of the uh, system here. All right, so we've got our Kaleidoscape here. Um, this is full 4K, 60 Hertz uh, menus. The Kaleidoscape is the best possible uh, way to consume media at home. Uh, it's the highest possible quality and resolution, both audio and video. It is as good or better than physical media. Um, and uh, this is just the best way to consume your, your movies. If you're a big movie, TV buff, even music, their concerts on here are fantastic. Um, and so this is just the best way to consume your media. I said you've got Hans Zimmer, um, Eric, this Eric Clapton demo here is fantastic. Um, but we'll go ahead and do a Dolby Atmos demo here. So we'll go ahead and open up and go to play episode. Um, you've got options here as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and pull up uh, Nature's Fury. It's one of my favorites. And uh, enjoy the demo. This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. Soundscape system moved to the scene. Or captures the full extent of nature's fury. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in a system like this, please contact us at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. Um, we are, of course, direct authorized dealers for Klipsch, Siebertson, Sony, Control 4, all the products you see in these videos. So again, please contact us at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. Thanks, guys.